Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be exploring two essential tools, cropping and clipping in Affinity software. Cropping is a straightforward process that involves removing unwanted parts of an image. Let's see how it's done. Open your image in Affinity Photo. Select the Crop tool. Drag a selection box around the area you want to keep. Adjust the crop handles to fine tune the selection. The aspect ratio can be locked by holding shift while dragging. Press enter or click on apply to apply the crop. You can also use aspect ratios for specific formats like square or 16.9. Affinity Photo offers a variety of preset aspect ratios to choose from. With the crop tool, change the mode to custom ratio. Enter the desired width and height. The crop will be locked to that aspect ratio. The crop tool offers overlays like diagonals and grid. Use these to help position the subject in the frame. Use the rectangular marquee or other selection tools to make a selection. Switch to the crop tool. The crop boundary will match the selection. Adjust the crop as needed and click on Apply. With the Crop tool selected, hold Command in Mac or Control in Windows, or click on this Straighten button on top. Click and drag to draw a line along the crooked horizon. Affinity Photo will rotate the image and adjust the crop automatically. Clipping is a more advanced technique that allows you to mask one layer with another. It's particularly useful for creating complex compositions. There are two types of clipping. Clipping images into shapes. For this, we need two layers, a background layer and a foreground layer. For the background layer, I will use an image. And for the foreground layer, I will use a rectangle. There are two ways you can clip this image to the rectangle. In the first method, drag the image layer and drop it onto the rectangle. In this method, when we try to scale or resize the rectangle, the image also changes with it. But when we modify the image layer, it does not affect our rectangle. In the second method, drag the rectangle and drop it into the small thumbnail of the image layer. In this method, when we scale or resize the rectangle, it does not affect our background image. But when we modify the image layer, it does affect our rectangle layer. So basically, whatever we change in the parent layer will affect the child layer, and changes in the child layer will not affect the parent layer. For the foreground, you can also use closed vector curves and make sure it has a fill color. Clipping with layer masks. For this, we need to add a layer mask to the image layer. Draw on the mask with black to hide areas and with white to reveal. And that's it for this video. Cropping and clipping are fundamental tools in all Affinity softwares. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Affinity Photo tutorials. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or requests for future videos. Thanks for watching and happy editing.